guys, this is Gwendolyn, and today I'm doing another unboxing for you. And I have the bag right here. Here we go. And you know what? This is not a brand new bag. This is actually a vintage style. But I haven't had the opportunity to carry it because it needed some repairs. So, but let me take it out for you. I am the nauseous person. And I have the drawstring this time. The Louis Vuitton. They, it was nice for them to give me one of these. Because I didn't have this particular style. Uh, the, what are these things That's called? Bad. Dust. Okay, and here is the bag. It is the S'more size 43. Look at that, it's pretty nice. As you can tell, they repaired the strap because you can see that it has not patina like the rest of the bag. But that's okay with me. I started to get the entire bag redone, but the only problem I really had with it was the strap. But you know what? I like the patina coloring when the cowhide gets the darker tone like that. I really like it. And it doesn't, it, well, you know what? I don't know how long it would take for this to patina, but it's okay with me being different like that. I'm fine with it. But as I said, they repaired this. It gave me a new... A new buckled and everything on it. The new, what is this, like the padding on the strap. And the front of this bag, you guys, look just like the back. That is a really cool bag. And this is one of their vintage styles, as I say. And it's to simulate the horse saddle. What is that thing you call The, <laughs> the saddle? Western. Yeah, the saddle. The saddle on the horse. That's why it's made like this it goes up like this can you see this like that so the bag is is that's my understanding first let me give you the dimensions of the bag the bag is 15 inches this way and I think it's 12 up and down the height and the depth of the bag is about three maybe it's three on each one of these but anyway, I go through it. This bag has, does a lot. So with the strap like that, you can see it under. So they repaired this entire piece. And it has the two studs here. And this, like this, this is the, the way I could tell the front from the back. I usually look at the Louis Vuitton the monogram, the direction of the lettering, and as the, let, as the let, lettering is up, is the correct size here, this is what I would consider to be the front, and they buckle, of course, like this, and the same on this side, which I consider the back because it's upside down, being that this is mostly a single canvas, I believe the entire bag may be one single canvas. But anyway, so I do it. I could do the same thing on both sides. You can fasten this like this, of course, on both sides. Now, inside of each fold of the bag, you have a pocket like this inside here. The big opening and the two pockets on the, this is considered the back for me. This is the way I carry it. I consider that the back. And for the, what I consider the front, it has the same inside, except here it has the Louis Vuitton name, Louis Vuitton name there. And I believe this one was made out of Paris, out of France, because I know this is a French style. The name Samour was originated out of France, uh, named after one of their cities, and based on the, what is it, the people, the horse riders and things like that, they carried the saddle. 
in, I guess, one of the equestrians <laughs> needed a similar style. I am not totally sure. I tried to do as much research as I could, but that's why this style is like this. And anyway, so on this side, like I said, this is the front, as I consider it, with the label there and the, hey, they put some paper in here from the repair. Okay. And this has a single pocket there and the opening, this thing is big in there. So I can close this up back like this. Of course it has the complete buckle. Some of these have the double strap on them. I know this bag comes in a size 30, it comes in a 35, and this 43. And this is the largest, the size 43. We're not going to go through what all this thing can hold because we may sit here all day. You guys think I filled up that never full. This baby can take a lot. So, well, anyway, it goes like that. And on the sides of this bag, you can see it has the buckles on each side like this. And this is to keep the bag together more like that cinch as you may want to just carry it closer together. But as you want to put more things in the bag, of course, this buckle on each side is adjustable to up to, I think it has just three holes mm -hmm. on each side. And it's adjustable so that this can expand out more and use this side. These expand out like this. Yep, and it does that on each side. I'll show you on this side too as well. It's pretty cool. This is a really nice bag. This is so cool for travel, for every day, especially a book bag. Oh my gosh, this thing is really, really beautiful. And here it is on that side. It gives you a lot more space to expand on this bag. That is a really cool bag. Hey, they put all kinds of things in here for me. Because this is from there, they sent the bag. But if I am correct, they repaired it in the U.S. The bag is originated out of France, but they did repair it in the U.S. And it took me about roughly three-ish weeks or whatever. And I also and the pricing of that, you guys may want to know the price, and I forgot to show you that. They still give you the envelope and everything like this. For pretty much anything I've done with the Louis Vuitton, they always put our receipts in something like this, in the nice envelope. And the pricing for this repair, remember this is the largest size, this is the 43. And this repair was $150, but with tax, of course, like $162 for this repair of only the strap. Now, they did give me a quote on the repair of all or changing out all of the cowhide on the entire bag and that was going to be roughly between eight something and a thousand dollars which is a really good price i paid for the bag itself if i'm not mistaken i'm trying to remember the price of it i paid roughly maybe seven six seven ish so it runs about I've seen this size running about 700-ish, something in that or range, up to eight, range. possibly, and then it could be more. Of course, it always depends on the condition of the bag. So I was okay with saving a few dollars and getting a bag with, I knew was going to possibly need a little bit more repair than another, but it was, it was only the strap. It wasn't in really, the entire strap this way was pretty much okay. It was fine. The problem I had was under here, when I took the bag in, the problem I had was, wait, let me open this. The problem was here, initially, where the bag was worn. Because this bag is so universal, like it's this long, just being this way. The bag is really long. But you can also get the strap and you could crisscross it under here through here. 
you unbuckle the, the bag, the strap, and you crisscross it under here and bring it, loop it around, and it makes the bag shorter. I'll show you that in a second. But I wanted to show you what the bag is like as a crossbody. So let me do what I don't feel like doing. It's standing. Okay, fine, I'm lazy today. I am so tired, you guys, from driving out to... <laughs> oh, and where I got it repaired? That's my... At the same place I go, the Louis Vuitton I go to is out of Newport Beach here in California, and it's at the Fashion Mall. Fashion Island. Fashion Island. And the my SA is Jerry, and he is so helpful. I wish I could remember the other guy that helps me as well. They are so nice there. I wasn't sure of what I wanted to purchase when I went to Louis Vuitton, when I knew I was going to take my bag in to have the repair of the strap. So it wasn't as if they were extra nice because I was just shopping. But while I was there, of course, you buy things when you're there. And I was, um, I went in, a, like I said, originally just to get the repair done. But I, you can't turn down things in Louis Vuitton. And so I guess a catch. But let me show you what the bag looks like. I'm going to stand with it like this. Give me a second. And here's the bag this way. It's just a shoulder bag. And remember, I'm approximately 5'7". Not, not quite. I'm more 5'6"-something, but close enough. So this is it this way. And the bag does go crossbody. Okay, like this. Crossbody. And we know the bag can be carried in different ways, okay? But I need to change the strap for you. But this is this way. How cool is that? expandable room in each one of these sides. It does expand. You carry like that, like here in the crook of the arm. Just like this. You can hold the bag. See? That's a cool bag. This is one of my favorites. Let me sit to myself. Let me show what it looks like on the inside with this here from this you open the entire bag the straps fold inside here and it closes over okay and I will walk through one more time how I get the bag this, the strap this height. This you do not have to undo these buckles. I can leave this closed. This is just simply for going inside the bag. I think when I showed it the first time I undid these two. And you don't have to. These two. Just undo the bag like that. And then you flip it over. And this goes like this. This is the shorter one. The one with the hardware, the one with the buckle, is the shorter part of the strap. And the other one, of course, is the longer one. This one. And it goes like, it looks like that. I get this one, fold it backwards, fold this one back, bring it. The longest one, of course, you can you would notice 
around the bag, around the outside, and go and fasten what you have under here. Well, typically, I twist this to get this the right way so I can put this under here. And I usually go with the first hole that you see there just to give it a little bit more, I mean, a little bit more length. And every time I'm trying to do this fast, I mess it all up. Okay, that way. And these are both folded back here. They're folded. This one is going backwards. And this one is folded back backwards against the studs. The studs are there and I fold each strap backwards. Tuck this back down. Connect these two to keep the bag from opening like that. Remember these can stay closed. The way to go inside the bag, this doesn't, this won't be affected by you going in and out of the strap. I may have opened one just by force of habit, but you don't need to. Because this one, this particular cowhide piece here, does not connect under here. It does not. The only way to keep the bag cinched is with these end pieces like this. So, and there's another way to carry a bag. Now that's a cool bag. This is actually one of my favorites. So, okay. Now, if you guys would like to know any more about this particular bag, remember this is the Samore 43. If you would like to see what all we can fit in there. You know what, I could set it up like a student bag if you like. I would do that maybe in another video because this is a really good bag, especially for a student, in my opinion. It's a great bag. So if you would like to see more on this, uh, more, <laughs> on this <some> more, <laughs> please come back and hang out with me again. But thank you guys so much for stopping by again today. And you guys have a good one, okay? Thanks again. Remember to like, always like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye.